Happy New Year! So it's the 1st of January today, and look what arrived yesterday. Scrawler box, finally. So, Scrawler box is a monthly subscription box at supplies. Um, do I really need to? I'm sick of repeating myself anyway. I think you all know what the Scrawler box is by now. Um, so, wait. it's weighty. I hope there's not a brick in there. Let's get into it. Off in one, off in one, and Ziggy's asleep. Oh, everything's come out the uh, tissue paper. It's probably been bashed about. What is it? It looks like acrylic markers, doesn't it? Well, I'll just try and move these out the way to keep the surprise in. and won't look that way. Um, oh, that's a nice design, isn't it? I was looking at something like this. The other day to do a portrait. Yes. Um, oh, and that's a nice design as well. Oh, they're all the same design. The book. Let's get the box out the way. So it's A5, white card, 10 sheets, 250 GSM, smooth, scroller box. And that is a really nice design. Sorry about the sun shining. Smooth paper, feels like card. Oh, it's come out. Feels like cardstock. Nice. Oh, and I'm really liking that. What's it say, Mr. Phil? Mr. Phil, I create lively and fun-filled images for a variety of purposes, including branding murals, clothing, pattern design, album covers, live events, painted sculptures, vinyl, <coughs> <coughs> vinyl installations, to name a few. If you can think of an application, I can make art for it. All my art starts as drawing, then depending on the commission, it's either painted or photographed. Vectorised. Oh, I wonder what that means. I'll have to look that up. And coloured digitally. I've worked for a variety of clients, including Fender. Oh, isn't that, um, that makes those luxury handbags? Unity, Tumblr, Ciroc, Vodka, Blue Moon, The Scouts. Vitamin Water, The National Gallery, Kipling, Lost Pier Brewing, talk about advertising yourself, which is good. And, and there's his Instagram. Can you see? Mr. Phil draws and the Twitter. And this is, oh, did I forget to say it? This is the December Scroller Box 2022. I really like that. Ooh, looks like it's going to be a... Fun filled box, right. Let's go into the supplies. So we have acrylic pens, two to three millimeters, canvas, hmm, permanent, and you just shake it, press it down, and then apply the paint. It says canvas, lean, oh that's uh, in foreign isn't it, paper. So that is black and we've got yellow, turquoise. There's the sweet Mentos mini uh, mints. They're all right. Green, green apple. Oh I've never tried that flavour before. Nice. Right, have I got everything out of there? Yes, I have. Oh, this sticker's quite nice. Reminds me of uh, licorice all sorts. And then we've got, is that red or pink? I hope it's red. Yeah, it looks like a red. And then we have a pencil, which is uh, upcycled wood. Ooh, that's good. Made in Germany, Statler, 
Norris School HB school pencil. And then we've got um, chisel tip 2.5 Unipin fine liner. Oh, yeah, I think I've got one of these. Hmm. Right, so that's what we got in the box. Chaos Confined. Oh, that's an interesting prompt. This month's box is inspired by Mr. Phil, our featured artist, colourful, controlled, yet co chaotic illustrations combine overlap and link all shapes and characters you can think of. Oh, you know, I was there uh, doodling the other day, but I'm not, very, not very good at that, uh, like a mandala thing. Um, allow the chaos of your imagination to pour onto the page with your wonderful creations. And this is, I'll take my glasses off. Um, these acrylic pens are adding, uh, have I ever heard of these before? No, never heard of them before, but I do like acrylic pens. Um, Edding 5100 acrylic markers, black traffic yellow, te what's that? Te Tele Magenta, mm, what a name, never heard of that before, and opulent turquoise. These Edin acrylic markers are, are the medium nib size and come with semi-opaque, quick-drying, water-based ink. They are light, fast, weather-resistant, wear-resistant and heat-resistant, with low odour, and have the ability to draw on a variety of surfaces, including the usual suspects, canvas, wood, and carton paper. Because, because they have water-based ink, you can mix the colours and also easily blend. The robust, medium, round nib Provide stroke width of two to three millimeters, which allows for precise strokes, and is big enough to colour in large areas. Easy to activate and use the pens. Feature a valve system, which allows even ink flow for great coverage. These pens offer uncomplicated, spontaneous creativity. Best start horizontally. Three ninety nine each. Uh, the Unipin Black Chisel Fine Liner 2.0, a modern classic, the Unipin is a go-to for any creative project, including calligraphy, sketching and drawing. This pen features super ink, which provides high-quality, waterproof and fade-proof pigment, making it the perfect companion for all kinds of media, as the ink won't smudge. Its chisel-shaped nib offers a broad and narrow edge for versatility in your mark making plus it has a metal surround that protects it making it great for use with stencils oh has it got a metal surround mm, thought it was plastic and that is priced at £2.59 the Stedler Norris Pencil HP, this high quality and versatile pencil is ideal for writing, drawing, sketching, featuring a 2mm diameter super bonded lead which is break resistant. Each Stedler Norris Pencil is made with wood from certified sustainably managed forests and that is 80 pence. And the scroller box pad A5 white card 10 sheets. The white extra smooth and acid free drawing card has a resilient surface designed to endure all forms of markers, paint pens, inks and mediums alike. The surface is particularly well suited for end markers as it is bleed resistant making for more comfortable drawing experience and that is priced at 2 99 I think most of the pads are 2 99 So... Let's get into the magazine. Right. So there's all the pretty markers. Mini Mentor Sweet Treats. Fruit flavour, chewy sweets, uh, sweets, the best of the Mentors in miniature form. 
chisel away, a chisel nib perfect for adding fine line details or chunky details. Black and yellow, humble but mighty, this classic pencil makes its point. Oh, it's so colourful this page. I like it. Oh, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? And that's Mr. Phil there. Oh, yes, I like this. I sit down with our December's featured artist. I'll just read this bit. What do you love most about acrylic markers? I really like the ability to lay down some lovely flat colours without having to get brushes and paints out. And you don't have to clean them afterwards. Well, yes, that's a bonus. Scrawler tips. Things to try. Activate. To get things started, you need to activate your markers with the lid on. Oh, yes, because I've done that before where you've shook it without the lid off and the paint splattered everywhere. Shake the markers a few times, then remove the cap and pump the nib down. Wait a couple of seconds. Pump the pen. Four to five times, the paint will start to flow. Behind the artwork. Draw some simple lines and shapes with a pencil. Large circles, big curved lines and straight lines. Take the black marker to start creating shapes and characters using pencil lines as a rough guide. When drawn, pause and look at potential objects. It reminds me of that, um, what's he called? Oh, he does those really good um, colouring books. Kirby Rosans, yeah. Really like his artwork. Um, oh, and this is um, the artwork from, is it two months ago, October? What did we get then? Oh, was it those horrible chalky pens? Yeah, oh, those Yonos. Ugh, yeah. Say no to your no. Yeah, I just couldn't get away with them. But this artwork is absolutely amazing. See if I recognise anyone. Mm. Oh, Gabby Chic Dolls. Congratulations, Gabby. That's your peacock. Gorgeous artwork. Yay, Gabby! Uh, anyone else? No, I don't recognise anyone else, but all the artwork is absolutely amazing. Hats off to them because uh, my artwork was just rubbish. Uh, the Rise of Digital Art. And scan to watch uh, the featured artists. Oh, goody. So, shall I do a swatch? Have they got paper? Yeah. I'll just um, take the paper off and prime them because you don't want to see that, do you? So, I'll just show you this, the easiest way to get the wrapper off. It's just by twisting the cap round and then taking it off like that. Right, shaking out the way. I think the colour's starting to come through now. Yes, it is. Yep. Pause you again because you don't want to see me do the rest. Well, my black one's a bit dodgy. I pressed it down and have you seen that, the nib? It's just stuck right back in. Oh, there, it's come back out again. Uh, I'll have to be careful with that one. Hello. Yeah, the black nib seems a bit um, tough, where the other ones are just pressing down easily. 
One moment, talking in the background. Right, and they're very juicy. So, this pink one was the easiest one to prime. So, it'll go in a bit. Let's see. Oh, yes, I feel really nice going down. Oh, I'll just get some air water and see what they like blending. Oh, I bet you it's dried already. Oh no. Let's see. Just added some uh, water and a paintbrush. Very nice. So that is the pink. And the turquoise, the, what was it, opulent turquoise. I've lost my little flannel that I use when I'm painting. Oh, that's lovely, I love turquoise. And then yellow. Oh, no. Use that tissue paper. And then a black. Is it? It is black, isn't it? Oh, I don't know why we've got a black hair marker when we've got that black chisel tip. I would have much preferred another colour. Oh mm, yes, and that's just a, a black, a dirty black. So that's what they look like, just put down on paper and then with the water added. I mean, if I was to add water, I'd put it in my um, porcelain palette and then do it like that. I mean, it looks all right like that. Right, now for that chisel tip. Are they dried? Look, they still haven't dried them, uh, little dabs. So we've got plenty of time to add the water then if you just dab it on like that. So let's go in a bit. Now oh, that's out, what a dial. Yes, well there's the thick lines and there's the skinny lines. Yes, I have got some of these. Feels very juicy. Has that dried yet? I just want to see if it goes over the top of that. I'm just going to leave it for a few minutes to dry. So I'll pause you and then I just want to see if that goes over the top of it. Probably will. 
Well, I've left them to dry for a few minutes, but I think they're still a bit wet. I think these watery ones have dried, so... Oh, no, it hasn't. <laughs> Yeah, this is dry. Yes, they go over nicely. I think they're still wet. Yeah, feels a bit scratchy. I don't want to ruin the nib of this pen. Yes, so... Let's see. So, this is what was in the box. Really colourful, really nice. Unexpected for December, but I'm so glad it wasn't anything glittery and Christmassy fied. Um, I've got some ideas in mind, so I will get cracking on that and then upload the video um, probably tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Ooh, Mr. Um, Johnny signing out. See you, bye!